My name is Antonio Rangel. I'm a Staff Sergeant in the United States Army, and I am currently a Army recruiter. A normal day for me typically starts at 4.30. My first alarm goes off. I like to snooze about 15 minutes and kind of get myself getting, and just get up, start getting ready. I go to the gym first thing in the morning. I like getting that workout. It's very important, especially with the, the type of job that I have, constantly sitting down and just lots of walking and driving. I need that, that edge of working out. Come back, shower change, get my coffee, and then I head over to the office at 0900 of the day. And then I check my email for about first of the hour. And then we start getting into, okay, what's the plan for the day? What are some do outs that I need to fulfill? And I start hitting up my applicants, whether it's uh, phone calls, I need to do text messages, social media posts on Instagram or Facebook. One, two, three. We're just showing the students some of the robotics that we have. Uh, a lot of the capabilities that we use every single day for things as dangerous as a hostile environment or even just something as simple as a being in a hurricane situation where buildings collapse. We have these little robots that kind of help us get into nooks and crannies that we can't get into. So this is a good time for them to actually see exactly what we use and then just get behind the controller. I personally have five schools that I'm responsible for. I check up on two of those because those are the ones that are very avid about wanting to join the military. They get very excited when they see us. They're like, the Army, they're here. And um, that's what makes the job. I greatly appreciate the presence, the want of the presence that we have on the kids. The goal with the Future Soldier Training for our station is just to make sure, one, that they're meeting height and weight standards, that they're not getting overweight or losing too much weight, because uh, some of our applicants think that they need to be skinny, or some of our applicants think that they need to be strong. Really, we just need to maintain a certain degree of fitness. Um, they don't need to be blowing out of the park with numbers of how much weight they lift or how fast they can run. That definitely will make them uh, make it easier but they don't need to have that. Uh, we just show them the basics, like this is what push-ups are gonna look like, these are what the uh, deadlifts will look like on the ACFT, this is what the shell sprint will look like, uh, the planks, we're also showing them the power toss, and just making sure that they have that exposure so that they're not frightened by the, the fitness. And they, a lot of them find it very easy. The other part to that is just making sure that they are aware of sexual harassment in the military, that we 100% do not tolerate that whatsoever. And it's something that everyone is gonna be briefed on, educated, and know how to respond to sexual harassment. Another thing that we do as training is uh, equal opportunity. So the future soldiers are gonna have an opportunity to discuss and be exposed to discrimination on all platforms of what happens, how to identify it, what to respond, uh, and again, it's one of those things that the military does not tolerate, period. Some other things that we might do for future soldier training is this is a good opportunity for the future soldier to sit with their recruiter or even other recruiters within the station and ask them, hey sergeant, uh, what's your experience like? Because we have a station of 12 recruiters me being one of the 12, my experience is gonna be completely different for everyone else that's in that office. So this allows them an opportunity to say and ask, uh, what's your life like? What was your army experience? And I can say, hey, you know, uh, I highly recommend doing this for yourself. Um, when you come time for the board, have your P's and Q's lined up, make sure your promotion points are all good to go. This is what happened to me at my board. Another recruiter might say, hey, this is what this happened to me from the board. So now this allows that future soldier to learn from our mistakes so that way they're successful for the future. Uh, part three will be paragraph comprehension. Raise your right hand, repeat after me. I state your full name. I do solemnly swear. When I'm given the opportunity to take a future soldier to MEPS, it's exhilarating. 
Uh, it gives me the greatest pleasure and honor to be able to be the last person that they see from their home state to go become the better version of themselves. And uh, I get so excited, I'm, I'm always pumped. I try to pump them up too. And this is my final moment to be like, what are your thoughts, like what are your questions? Obviously you might have some questions and some of them they're like, nope, I'm just gonna do it. Or some of them might be like, actually sorry, I'm like, what's this about? And I was like, oh, you know, you're, you're about to leave. You're about to be the best version of yourself. You think you're good today, you're gonna be better the next day. Take it day by day. The hard work's already done. Maps is one of the my least favorite parts, especially when I was joining. That was hard. Going to basic, easy. Very easy, it was cake. I just blinked and there I was in my dress blues graduating basic training. It's gonna be easy for you too. So go to the bus, get on the bus, take the drive, go to basic training and go be awesome. I get a huge fulfillment of helping others. It goes back to the reason why I joined. I wanted to help people in any shape or form to better themselves. So being able to be a recruiter, have that applicant come to me, go to MAPS, go through the whole process, and then later to ship, it greatly gives me the honor and it checks the block of that is why you joined. Attention! Your mission is to subscribe and beat feet to the next video. Why haven't you done it yet?